Welcome to Greenie's Garden. Hey, what's up, Green Army? It's Brandon and Alyssa. Hey, guys. And we hope all of you guys are having an awesome day today. I'm super excited, but at the same time, we're a little serious over here today at Greenie's Garden because we're going to show you frost damage. Gardening is awesome because you have so much success certain times of the year. Um, and the other time of the year when it gets a little bit colder, the plants that we happen to be growing shows the effects of I'm not at home, right. I'm in Arizona, I need some more love. <laughs> <laughs> so we wanted to show you guys today because it's very important. Don't get discouraged in the winter time if you live in Arizona because hey, when you go outside it is kind of depressing. It can be. But we're all human, but it's all about how you take it in and let it out. So stay positive. Because seriously guys, even though it may be cold at that moment, it's heating up now and we can see it here at Green East Garden. So right to the video, just so you guys kind of have an idea, mango trees. We're gonna show you guys two different mango trees that have frost damage. So the first one that we're gonna show you is actually the youngest one of the two. So behind me right here is the Bailey's Marvel. Um, again, we were so confident, guys, in our yard. Like, could you agree, love? Yeah, I thought that we had some pretty good microclimates out here. So Me too. What did we not do? We did not frost protect. <laughs> did we frost protect anything? Not a single thing this year. Yeah, not. I'm trying to really think about it. There's not one thing that we frost protected. And we, hey, we dealt with the consequences. We brought like our potted plumeria and stuff inside. True. And like the bigger mangoes that were in pots already. Yeah. Very true. But we didn't protect anything that was outside in the ground. Right. But to our surprise, though, is nature showed us some things that you really have to pay attention to. I don't think trees actually talk to you, but if you look at them, they do talk to you because there's signs of, you know, good health, bad health. And this tree right here, this, is what, this was a three gallon when we got it. So what would you say, my love, like a year and a half old maybe? Yeah, I think that's probably about how long it's been in the ground. So, and look at this right here, like all the new growth on it. It started heating up just a couple days ago and every single tip right here, you guys can see the buds starting to come off. So I'm actually just really shocked with this tree because again, wait till you see this other tree, guys. So keep in mind, this tree right here is about a year and a half old and it's been in the ground for about the, that same time, about a year and a half. Yep. And the result is amazing because it was a smaller tree and I see a little bit of frost damage, but I could seriously say like, this tree powered through it. Yeah, this guy made it. Yeah, I'm and very proud of this Bailey's Marble. We're not sure if it's because of this bamboo that we keep featuring. I know, you guys, this guy's just amazing all around. So it was tucked up in here and we did put a lot of mulch down. See, and that's good detail, thank you, love. We did put a lot of mulch, like a heavy layer of mulch, fresh, um, and I do believe that that had something to do with it as well, because it really kept the roots warm. Um, but let's jump into mango number two. I really want to show you guys this because it's good information. So let's check it out, guys. This area that I am in right now, uh, a little before Christmas time, this thermometer right here, the one that says we're at about 80 degrees almost right now, this thing said it was 20 degrees. Yeah, we were shocked at how cold it got back here. Yeah, because on the opposite side of this bamboo, it was like a six degrees difference. I think, correct me if I'm wrong. Right? Yeah, maybe like, even more than that. Right. So very shocked guys, but we want to show you the frost damage on this tree's probably got to be like seven and a half, eight years old now. Yeah. Two years in our backyard. Right. No frost protection. Right. Um, we had confidence in our microclimate and this is the result guys. So I'm, I'm just going to step aside real quick and let you get a good vision of it. So this is the carry mango tree and it got frost damage. Check it out. As you guys can tell, <laughs> obviously, She's still alive. Right. But But look at this right here. So these, I mean, the branches, just to show you guys on camera, did you hear like the, the sadness of just like- That snapping noise. The snapping noise. And look at the leaves. So we tracked this tree uh, during the frost nights. It took four days for this tree to start doing this. Yeah. Like remember it was kind of like a uh, yellowish? The morning we came out here when it was 20, we got the hair dryer and yep. we tried heating it up. <laughs> no, just like, don't do it. And it was still green. And then, yeah, four days later, it kind of we knew our fate. turned orange. Right. We knew our fate. Um, but for some reason, I wasn't upset about it. Like, I came outside and I remember telling you, like, check out this tree. But we understood the consequences. We knew exactly why 
it yeah. had frost damage. It was our fault for not doing more for her. Right, it was our fault, but she's still alive. One little trick I want to show you guys is if you come right here, I don't know if you can see it, but I scratched off some of this right here. So Carrie might be dead like from this area up. Cause see how it's brown? So Compared to if we come down here to where more of the main trunk, you see how it's green? It's a little bit more green and it's more wet. That's a really good sign. If you scratch over here, it's a little bit greener, but that was from yesterday, so. I have full faith in her that she'll come back. But again, a good example, guys, of don't get discouraged, stay positive. You can't control Mother Nature, guys. She's in charge. I love to just show you guys. We love making these videos, just so you can see the results. Again, just from our experience, we're not experts. We just love sharing it with you guys. So don't be discouraged when you see frost damage. Just learn from it. So the next year, take what you learn and you'll have the strongest tree, I promise you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Even though it was a little different, seeing the backyard a little, you know, crusty looking, but <laughs> you guys have to see these things and know that you just gotta overcome it and everything's all good, guys. Yep. So thank you so much for watching today's video, guys. And as always, we hope all of you guys have an awesome day today. Bye, guys.